It's been a long, strong year. We've gone through billions of chips, over 80 videos, and upwards of 8,000 spins to finally determine which of the My Vegas games on the My Vegas app is worth playing. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey guys, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And welcome back to the grand finale of our year-long experiment to determine what game has the best payback percentage in the My Vegas Slots app. So now that we've spent so much time trying to determine which game you should play and which games you should skip, it's time to reveal our list. Our list of the best games to play in My Vegas Slots. So here was our method for the experiment if you don't remember how it worked. The rules were very simple. Pick a game, pick a bet, spin it 100 times, calculate how many chips you won, then assign it a payback percentage. Based on that, here are the top 11 games in My Vegas slots. Why top 11? Because as you know, I like to go even further beyond! So let's see who made us the most money. Number 11 was Bridesmaids. With sizable bets, a couple lucky games, and plenty of free bonuses, Bridesmaids was keeping us going through the ceremony with some comfort. Number 10 was Electrolink Plus. Electrolink Plus also has its fair share of quick spins, bonuses, and free respins, increasing our total chip per spin return quite comfortably. Number 9, the Luxor game. Luxor is a classic My Vegas game with built-in free spins. It's also pretty generous with the standard spins. Number 8 was Mandalay Bay. Mandalay Bay is very much the same as Luxor. Leveraging free spins and generous big wins is all you need to do to win big here. Number 7, Lucky May, is the originator of the Electrolink bonus on My Vegas, and it certainly helps. That lets you leverage quite a few easy free spins for free chips. Number 6, Omet's Gold, is far superior to Omet's Legacy. It offers plentiful bonus spins. Number 5, Disco Dracula, is a very new game, laced with built-in game bonuses as well as spin interrupting bonus sessions resulting in additional chips. Number 4, El Señor de los Cielos was a banger. The format encouraged a lot of frequent bonus sessions in this game, in addition to its normal free spins. Number 3, Kangaroo Country, was even better with the big spins and the generous bonus sessions during gameplay. Number 2, Rapid Gold Deluxe is what we would call an unstoppable bonus session because those sessions just never stopped and kept racking up big wins. And of course, the very best game in My Vegas slots turned out to be Lion Festival. The one game where we didn't actually end up spinning up with our own chips. Yes, we ended up getting upwards of 50 free spins, so every win that we got on that game was completely free, attributing to an absurd payback percentage of over 500%. And, after checking our initial bankroll of 81,018,596 chips and our final one of 777,994,824, it looks like we ultimately made 696,976,228 chips. So the answer is yes, you can play My Vegas slots continuously without losing chips. Thanks for watching. Okay, well, it gets more complicated than that. So, here's another question. Will you get the exact same results as me when you play these games? No. And I'll tell you why. There are a few little flaws in our experiment, and I confess, I did know about quite a few of them. The first major issue is that our sample size was very small. Slot payback percentages are actually calculated over hundreds of thousands of spins across an entire bank of the same slot machine. So that actually means we were relying on very few chips and a lot of luck. Another issue we ran into is that I didn't digitally count the spins. Also, I don't always count a free spin as part of the experiment, and other times I do. So that throws consistency even further out the window when calculating these percentages. And if you didn't think that was enough of a problem, then get ready for this. 
With inconsistent bet lines and rates, you don't really get a good sense of how many chips you're supposed to bet to get a good payback percentage. Bigger bets often result in bigger losses or bigger wins, but they're not always linear. There are additional considerations that I've discovered now that I've had some chances to look over the videos again. The number of lines, the pay tables for games, and most importantly, the ability to duplicate results. So, was this a great experiment that tells you exactly which game to play in my Vegas slots? No, it wasn't. But if you know anything about slot machines already, you already knew that. Slots are digitally controlled via RNG to pay back a certain percentage of money over a predetermined amount of time. It's otherwise impossible to calculate how long we'd have to play and at what bet line in order to determine what game to play. Now, that being said, we did detect a few patterns in common with the games that had an over a 100% payback percentage. Number one, there were frequent bonus sessions. It's no secret that bonus sessions are a great way to supplement your chips. If you're winning free bets, then that's free money. Playing games like El Señor de los Cielos and Rapid Gold Deluxe have a lot of gimmicks that really help you in the long run. Number two, frequent free spins. Now, Lion Festival was an anomaly, but games like Luxor and Mandalay Bay give away free spins very frequently, either at random or by filling up a free spin meter. It's the same principle as before. The more free bets that you win, the more free money that you have. Take advantage of games that are about to fill up the spin meter and then abandon them for another one after you win. Number three, Electrolink's pay. Electrolink bonuses build over time, so a losing session with a big built up bonus can pay off in a session down the road. Number four, promotional games tend to be a little bit looser. I can't actually prove this scientifically, but we played Rapid Gold Deluxe, El Señor de los Cielos, Bridesmaids, Disco Dracula, and Lucky May all within about a week of release. Given that those five games comprise about half the top 11 spots, you're probably better off playing a newer game. It should yield a good payback percentage, at least in the short term. And of course, pattern five, most of these games are Play Studios My Vegas games and not ones licensed from Konami or Ainsworth. Given that My Vegas is the main game, it makes sense that the original games would be friendlier to your bankroll compared to the ones borrowed from Konami and Ainsworth. So, honestly, the best way to keep your My Vegas bankroll strong is to look for games that offer a lot of bonuses and gimmicks, especially if they have a meter associated with them that you can fill up. Change the game when you need to, and bail out if you've been playing altogether too long. If you're still struggling with maintaining a chip balance after all these videos and all these experiments, I have another confession. I often did pick up some free chips. A good friend of mine runs a website called MyVegasAdvisor.com. Unlike those gross stepist guides and rendezvous guide sites, which we all know are a scam, My Vegas Advisor legitimately collects chip links from legitimate My Vegas social media sites and their partners. Every once in a while, they're able to locate a big chip link, like a 500 million or a billion in rare cases, which I have used to supplement my bankroll for larger betting sessions. I'll leave a link to them in the description box down below. I've also been known to take advantage of the Google Opinion Rewards app. It's an app that asks you to take surveys. In exchange, they offer you a few Google Play credits. Usually only about 25 cents at a time, but over time I've managed to accumulate a few dollars to spend on the rare promotional chip packages that are actually worth it. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, that's about all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Now that we've talked about keeping your My Vegas bankroll healthy, Let's start working on those win slots VIP points, because they've moved the goalposts again. Until then, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and as always, happy spinning, you guys.